Hi, I'm Brian Castellanian and I'm a conductor and on music staff with Opera Australia. The production that really sticks in my mind, Puccini's Mother Butterfly, on Sydney Harbour, the production itself was art. The costumes were wonderful. The performers were splendid. The director extracted the most beautiful nuances from the performers. Puccini's magnificent score, it all combined. That was the most wonderful production I've ever worked on or seen in my life. The Baz Luhrmann production of La Boheme was a benchmark. We'd never seen anything like it before. It was like a film. In fact, Baz, during the rehearsals, he directed it like a film. So the audience at every moment in that production knew exactly where to look. It really brought a presence, an international presence for our company to the world. Opera Australia's most recent production of Aida is visually fantastic. The costume designer Gianluca Falaschi. Those costumes, I think, are the most breathtakingly beautiful costumes I've ever seen. The conductors have to make those singers on stage look and sound wonderful. The costume designer must also do the same. The 1971 production of Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro remained with the company for 35 years, I think. It was one of the very first operas I ever saw. That John Copley production was beautiful and it was just absolutely right. Everything that John did complemented those characters and the audiences loved each of the characters individually. It really was wonderful. My last choice of five is a double whammy of Giuseppe Verdi of, from Verdi's middle period. Uh, in 1991, Opera Australia did a new production of Rigoletto. Two years later, we did Verdi's La Traviata. The 1991 Rigoletto was a La Dolce Vita production, which remains in the repertoire of Opera Australia to this day. So that's 30 years it's been going, you know, with a little, little, little Fiat Bambino car in, in the, the last act. And look, it really is wonderful. An equally wonderful production of La Traviata has been with the company every second year. He had the Argentinian conductor, Carlo Felici Cilario, and his reading wasn't just conducting what's on page, it was telling the story. So I really can't choose between the Rigoletto or the Traviata, even though they're quite different, different styles of periods, same director, same conductor. They remain in my mind. I love them. <laughs>